Houston-based modern rock band Hindsight is bringing their unique sound to the Grand Stafford Theater tonight. For Free Music Friday, we've got Jesse and Brad. Jesse uh, plays the bass. Brad is the lead singer and guitar player. Thank you both so much for being with us today. Thanks for having us. All right, so uh, let's talk about the band, how long you guys have been around, uh, and how you guys all got started together. So I think this version of the band has been together for right around 10 years now. Um, and it kind of kind of originally started, I had always played music with my brother-in-law, who's our guitar player. We, we had, we had been, been in bands and playing for, for quite a long time. And then I kind of, we we're, were from Houston and then I moved out here for grad school and we were kind of in a, what are we, what are we doing right now? <laughs> like, are we still gonna try to do bands or play? And then um, one of the things I realized really quickly in, in when I was in grad school is having some kind of additional outlet, particularly when you're in, when you're really into music, is pretty important. Um, so we had kind of started searching to see, you know, if, if we want to try to make this work. And then, interestingly enough, um, I just I met Jesse through through playing other local shows around the area here. And we just happened to go to the same gym together. I like what you guys list as your influences. It's 90s grunge. I think of great bands like Nirvana, Alice in Change. And then you guys also list uh, alternative and rock. So, uh, Jesse, could you tell me, how did you guys kind of develop uh, the sound of Hindsight? Uh, when I came on, like I said, probably about, about 10 years ago, uh, we just came out with a new record called Momentum. And so the, from the first record to the second record, I, I noticed there's a, a drastic change. Uh, and uh, one band that we all kind of uh, gravitate around is Seven Dust, and so um, I've, I've loved the way that new record sounded, and so I was like, well, I have to try it whenever they had a, a position open for bass player, so I had to try out for that, because this is the style of music that I wanted to yeah. to get part of, and, and I, I enjoyed all that. You guys are playing uh, Grand Stafford tonight, and Brian, tickets are 13 bucks. You can get them online. Doors are at six. Uh, quickly, what can we expect from the show? I think it's gonna be an awesome show. We've We've, one of the things that that the folks at Grand Stafford here have allowed us to do is kind of put these lineups together. And I would say we're pretty selfish about how we put them together. I want to put together lineups that aren't just like an assortment of random bands, but like yeah. I want to put together a show I want to see the whole time. Sure. So um, yeah, all the bands <sighs> make sense. It's not just so our buddy here, Justin Gilbert, and then uh, is is going to open the show at 7:30 and is is going to crush it. And then we have just three other heavy hitting bands playing with us tonight. Um, our buddies from uh, Chasing Yesterday, Anova Skyway and Dead Set Red are all like top notch killer bands that are touring around and playing Houston all the time. So again, we're at the end of it, we're, we just get, we're just happy to be like the, get to play at the end of this big party we put together. <laughs> um, so it, it'll be a lot of energy, a lot of fun. And the other thing we try to do is not put shows together um, where it's like every band's the exact same. Sure. Um, it's where there's some variety and it all goes well together. Because um, we talk about that sometimes when you go to a mm -hmm. concert and like you see three bands that have the same sound. It's yeah, like hard to differentiate who yeah, you just saw. Yeah. So everybody tonight's going to be awesome. Uh, we got a song that we're going to hear from you guys. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, the song's called Impossible to Breathe. It's on the last, uh, uh, the last full length uh, thing that we put out called Catalyst. Um, and it's a little bit different because I, I think one of the things that when we try to write, a lot of it is pretty self-analytical um, in terms of just what's going on with us at, at a given moment. Not so much like trying to make a critique on the world or anything because everybody's got enough problems. But uh, in this case, um, it's kind of the struggles of dealing with, uh, the song is really about the struggles of dealing with um, kind of this fight between a culture that looks at being very self-centered and then versus um, saying, you know, what could I do for the rest of the world? And it almost seems like when every now and then we get a few of those people in the world that come out and they do have that kind of trying to do better yeah. um, approach. It, it's kind of sad that one of our immediate gut reaction is to criticize them instead of, you know, look at ourselves and what we could be doing. So that's kind of the general theme of the tune. Very cool. I'm looking forward to it. Good luck at the show tonight. Again, they're playing the Grand Stafford uh, tonight. The doors open at 6. Uh, stick around. We're going to hear the song Impossible to Breathe by Hindsight when we come back here on First News at 4.